thank you, Lord God, for this evening, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord God, that you are in the midst of us. And Lord, we're here tonight to seek your face, to seek your kingdom, to seek your direction, and also to stay in a gap on behalf of others. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that your anointing and your presence tonight be up in every person who is here tonight and those who is watching this broadcast. We thank you, Lord God, that your anointing, burden removing, yoke destroying, power of God, continue to manifest in this place. And as we pray, as we speak your word in the name of Jesus, that your word will not return void, but accomplish in the lives of your people. And Father, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we, we just open up in prayer. Amen. And we uh, what we're going to do tonight, we're going to just um, also to receive the word, Pastor Larry, and um, also we have Minister Murphy. going to share the word and, you know, to understand why we pray and why we do what we do because it is a sacrifice for for people to to pray and to stay in a gap and build a hedge and and so this is the effort that we as the believer choose to do it because we choose to serve the lord we choose to follow the jesus christ who paid he, the price for us that we don't have to die in our sins, but we are raised up through him, through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So I wanted to share before Pastor Larry come and he share, and we're going to pray um, after when we're done with uh, live um, view, we, um, we're going to just gonna continue to pray and we encourage you those who are spirit-filled believers, you also pray in the spirit. Pray in the understanding. Speak the word. Because when we pray in the spirit, sometimes God gives us a direction what we should pray or interpretation when we pray in the spirit. I wanted to share with you the scripture, First Chronicles 7.14, saying, If my people which have called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land and it shall come to pass if they shall hearken the diligently unto the voice of the lord the god to observe and to do all his commandments which is our command this day that that the that the Lord the God will set there and high and high above all the nations on the earth. Hallelujah. And this blessing shall come on there and overtake them. If they shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord their God. Hallelujah. So the main scripture that I will highlight is today is the second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people which is called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and so god wants his people to stay in the gap and build a hedge on behalf of others hallelujah and you have even the loved ones and and the people who you know your family members the list of the people who you pray it's important that we are today we choose to stay in the gap and build a hedge on behalf of those who is in need we today choose to stay in the gap and build a hedge on behalf of our governments and on behalf not just the government of the United States, we choose to stay on behalf of all the nations and all the governments all around the world. That every person who is in a position of authority and make a decision on, a, on, a, on behalf of the countries and nations, that we stay in a gap and we build a hedge on behalf of those who is in authorities, that they will make a decisions according to the God's will. Because scripture is saying that the 
heart of the king and the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so that's why we do what we do. We're going to stay in the gap. Hallelujah. And we will uh, build a hedge. As according to the scripture in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. And God will hear us and he will forgive the sins and they will heal in the land. There's so many needs in the land right now to need to be prayed. Hallelujah. Some of you heard about some epidemics in some areas of uh, even in the United States and some other countries that God will heal the land. Hallelujah. And so we are the people who are choose to, to humble ourselves and pray and seek the face of God. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray that God will heal the land. God will heal the people. God will forgive the sins of the land. Hallelujah. And bring the healing to the land in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Pastor Larry going to come right now. He's going to also... You pray. Okay. You Hallelujah. Pray right Amen. So he's also going to minister to us a little bit the word. Amen. Hallelujah. So um, I wanted to also go okay. over... Huh? Let him come right now. The uh, minister of yeah, yeah, Sure. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So I wanted to to um. Are you ready? Amen. I wanted to also to highlight one of the things every every morning when you get up when you leave the house. That's very important. That pray Psalms ninety one. Psalms 91. It's very important. This is, has to be a, uh, like a protection. The protection, um, the Psalms over your life, over your loved ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's we, uh, pray right now in the name of Jesus over every person who is here tonight and those who is watching this broadcast. We also pray for every person. I have a list of people who we usually pray so we even lay their hands on this list or maybe you have your own list right now and maybe those who is watching this broadcast you also have a list of people who you pray hallelujah so as we lay, you just put your hand on that list and you pray hallelujah that sums in the name of jesus and you can also follow me hallelujah so father we praise you Praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, as we apply your word right now. And we have every person who we're going to pray right now. Every those who is on a prayer list. We pray, Father, for every partner, every giver of Bloody Bergen's ministry. Everyone who is uh, part and connected with, with, uh, with the ministry. And also, Lord God, we pray for those who is even watching this broadcast, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you that we dwell in a secret place of the most high and that we shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of Almaty whose power and the fork can withstand and we will say of the Lord the Lord is our refuge and our fortress and our God and him we rely and him we confidently trust for then you will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence then you will cover us with your Pinion feathers and under your wings shall we trust and find the refuge and your truth and your faithfulness and the shelter and a buckler and we shall not be afraid of the terror by a uh, terror of night and the uh, error of the evil plots and the slenders of the wicked that flies by day nor of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness nor of this destruction and sudden death that surprise and last waste and a uh, Monday, a thousand might fall at our side, and ten thousand at the right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only a specter shall we be insensible in the secret place of the Most High, as we witness the reward of the wicked, because we have made you, Lord, our refuge in the Most High, our dwelling place. There shall no evil befall us. 
nor any pledge or calamity come near us for you will give your angels a special church over us to our company and defend and preserve us in all of our ways of obedience and service your angels shall bear us and uh, on their hands and let us our foot against the stone we shall tread up on the lion and either the young lion and serpent shall be trampled under the foot because we have set our love up on you therefore you will deliver us you will set us on high because we know and understand your name we have a personal knowledge of your mercy love and kindness we trust and rely on you knowing you will never forsake us nor never we shall call upon you and you will answer us you will be with us in trouble you will deliver us and honor us with a long life will you satisfy us and show us your salvation hallelujah so father we thank you lord god in the name of jesus we are blood the blood of jesus over your people we thank you lord god for your blood for your protection lord god in the name of jesus and as we tonight as we pray and stay in a gap on behalf of Azra, we thank you lord god that we are covered with your precious blood the blood of jesus christ the son of the living god and we thank you for it in the name of jesus christ amen 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 so that is was a psalms 91 and um, just also want to remind you to continue to pray that psalms when you in the morning leave the house it's just a, it's a it's a powerful word of god this is the psalms of the protection you speak this over your life you speak this over your families, over the loved ones, over those who you pray in your prayer list in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So also we use um, book of uh, Ephesians. We also pray the book of from the book of Ephesians. Um, we pray for those who is in authorities from the first Timothy 2 1 and 3 amen and uh, I'm using these scriptures and we have a, um, a lot of set up um, you know the special scriptures that we use warfare prayers um, you know the protection deliverance for the this year Sacramento um, surround the area hallelujah um, if you are in a different area or wherever you at wherever your state is you also proclaim uh, protection over your regions hallelujah see God he will when you come in become that soldier to become that intercessor god will enlist you be intercessor for his kingdom and he will anoint you to to speak and proclaim and your words will be a powerful words because not just to be a words but they be anointing they will carry the power hallelujah so and, and, and it's common it's like enlisting in a intercession army for the kingdom of god amen you be this man and woman of god who will stay in a gap and build a hedge on behalf of the people and nations hallelujah thank you father hallelujah so we're going to pray right now in the name of Jesus also for the deliverance and unity of, we're going to pray of Sacramento area, uh, those who is uh, uh, from different um, regions, you can also pray um, whatever region you are at and you just speak over your region, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. 
So Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, this uh, region of Sacramento and surrounding area, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, in uh, uh, California. And Father, as we put the whole armor of God and the shield of faith, we also, Lord God, speak your word on behalf of the Sacramento and surrounding area in California, in the name of Jesus. And, and you said any word, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffer violence and violence taken by force. We thank you, Lord, for seeing us uh, one people and with one language. Now nothing will do be restrained from us, which we see ourselves doing. Hallelujah. And we are your people, called by your name. We are humble ourselves, and we pray and we seek your face and we turn from our wicked ways and now we hear from heaven and you forgive us our sins and you heal our land father in the name of jesus we have your power and ability efficiency and might because of the holy spirit is in us we are your witnesses and in this region and sacramento and surround the area where you elect congregate the prayer, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of grace. We receive mercy and find the grace to help in every situation. We receive appropriate help and well time help just when we need it. Father, we thank you for sending forth your commandments to this earth your word runs swiftly through sacramento and surrounding area in california your word continues to grow and spread in the name of jesus father we thank you for the peace and welfare of sacramento and surrounding area in california where you desire us to live we thank you, Father, for the welfare of this city, of this state, and we do our part by getting involved in it. We do not let false prophets and diviners who are in the midst of us in this region, we do not let not um, pay attention and attach significance to their dreams. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you give us a spirit of discerning, that we discern the good from evil, and we will hate the evil, and we will cleave to the good. We thank you, Father, for destroying their shames, Lord, and, 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 and confusing their tongue. For we have seen violence and strife in this city. And we cancel an authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic attack that come against the Sacramento and surround the area in the region. And we can cancel every demonic attack that come against the California and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. And we ask in you, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, we thank you for visiting this city Sacramento and surrounding area in the California and I'll open the eyes the eyes of the people and now they turn from the darkness to the light and from the power of Satan to you Lord Jesus and that they now might see and receive forgiveness and release from their sins and place and portion among those who are concentrate and purify by faith in you hallelujah and father we thank you lord god for the deliverance and salvation for those who are fallen the curse and fashion of this world who are under the sway of tendency of this present age fallen the prince of the power of the air we thank you father for you forgiving them because they did not know what they're doing hallelujah and father we ask in you lord god in the name of jesus that you forgive the sins of the people who is in this land specifically in sacramento and surround the area and in california forgive our sins lord god and we call on behalf of those hallelujah in the name of jesus and we ask in you lord god to forgive the sins in this land lord god in the name of jesus and we call up in your name and we say lord god that you heal the land in authority the name of Jesus Christ and father we call up in your name and we as we put 
the blood of Jesus, the whole armor of God over our lives as we speak to the heavenly in the name of Jesus, every demonic powers and principalities. We, are, we put the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We speak to the power of the air and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. To the God of this world who blinds unbelievers' minds and they should not uh, discern the truth. We we'll speak an authority in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to the principalities, to the powers, to the world rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the high places, that be displaced in authority in the name of Jesus from the region of Sacramento and surrounding area, even the California, in the name of Jesus. We command that they leave the heavens above our city of Sacramento and surrounding area in the California. All this demonic forces from the pits of hell in the name of Jesus to leave this region in authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for it, Father. We give you all praise and we give you all glory. We thank you, Father, for guardian angels assigned to this place who work who war for us in the heaven place in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we stand victorious over the principalities and powers and rules of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in the high places over the Sacramento and surround the area and over the California in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, that morning after morning that you root up all the wicked in the land. You eliminate all the evildoers from the city and the city of the Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for sweeping through the gates of our city of Sacramento, California, in the name of Jesus, in the region, and convincing the people and bring demonstration to them about the sin and about the righteousness, uprightness of heart and right standing with you, Lord God, and about the judgment. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that you know the thoughts and plans that you have for us, the thoughts and plans for the welfare and peace and not for evil, to give us a hope in our final outcome, but the blessings of the influence of the upright in your favor. The city of Sacramento and surrounding area in California is exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And by the hands of our of apostles and many signs and wonders and being manifest among the people. And we are all in one accord in Sacramento and surrounding area in California. And inhabitants of one city are going to another saying, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. Many people and strong nations are come surrounded in this city Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that this city, Lord God, be in unity. We pray, Father, for the unity between the ministers, between the pastors, the between the people of God. We're calling in the unity in this city in the name of Jesus. We break every spirit of division in authority in the name of Jesus. We're calling in for the unity between the ministers and pastors in this city and in this state in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. We give you all praise, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to read right now and we pray for those who is in authority right now. Pray right now for the our president of the President Trump that he has to make uh, some uh, very serious decisions. We're also going to pray for every president in this land, and uh, not just in this country, but all around the world. That's very important. Because think about, not every president around the country is safe. But they also uh, carry the office of authority. Amen? Amen? And so we have to pray and stay in the gap for every president all around the land. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we're using the scripture, apply the scripture in this prayer in 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 3. First of all, then 
I admonish and urge and petitions and prayers, intercessions and thanksgiving be offered on behalf of all men. Hallelujah. For the kings and all who is in a position of authority and high responsibility, that out world we may pass and quiet and undisturbed life, an unworldly and peaceful one and all godliness and reverence and seriousness in every way. For such praying is good and right, it is pleasing and acceptable to God, our Savior. Now in Proverbs uh, chapter 21 and with, uh, verse 1, the scripture says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the water courses he turns whichever way he will. Hallelujah. So we lift unto you, Lord God, every person who is in a position of authority. We pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus over our President Trump. We pray, Lord God, for every president all around the world in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, for everyone who is in a position of authority, every governor, every senator, every uh, police officer, every uh, medical doctor. We pray, Lord God, everyone who is in a position of authority, Lord God, in this land. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that every decision, Lord God, that they will make, let the decisions be according to your will and according to your purpose according to your word the king's heart is in the hand of the lord as the water courses that he turn whichever way that he will and father we thank you lord god that those who is in a position of authority that every decision that they will make let the decisions be according to your will and according to your purpose in the name of jesus and we break every assignment of the satan and authority in the name of jesus that come against the mind in the hearts of those who is in a position of authority. We break the plans of the devil in the name of Jesus. And Father, we release your plans, we release your will in the name of Jesus Christ. And we give you a praise and we give you a glory in the name of Jesus. And Father, you said in your word in Proverbs 25 and 5, take away the wicked from before the king and his strong will be established in righteousness, moral and spiritual rectitude in every area in relation. And Father, we lift unto you, Lord God, every wicked, those who is in a position of authority. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father, that you replace Father, if they walk on in disobedience, rebellion toward you, and refuse to turn away from their wicked way, that, Father, that you remove them, Father, and replace with those who you will place in a position of authority. And, Father, we give you a praise, and we give you a glory in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Well, um, we have uh, another minister, I think, uh, who, um, Minister Murphy. And so you want to come and uh, um, share, or you, you're going to pray, or you're going to share something? You're going to share something. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, giving all glory to God, who is worthy to be praised. Yeah. Let us just admonish him for who he is. So, Father, we come repenting of anything that we might have said, did, or done this day that's displeasing before your sight. We close every door to the enemy as we enter in to do battle. For, Father, we know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. So, Father, we close all doors, gates, fences, and lock them and seal them in the blood of Jesus. And we take full authority because you said you have given us power and authority over all the works of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm us. So, Father, as we repent and come before you with praise on our lips, Lord God, we thank you for just being who you are. 
We thank you for being a sovereign God who's ever present, who's omnipresent, who's everywhere at all times. We thank you for being a loving God who, while we were yet sinners in our sin, you died that we might have a right to the tree of life. Amen. So, Father, we lift up the city of and Jerusalem, Lord God. We pray for your nation, Lord God, who you chose. We pray for your people, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you touch the prime minister over in Israel, Lord God, that you grant him wisdom, knowledge, and revelation on how to rule your people. And then, Father, we decree and declare over his parliamentary that those that are underneath him, Lord God, that there would be no division. We speak peace in the Middle East in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare love and not division. He said that when we know not what to pray, the Spirit prays for us. How we thank you, Lord God, for being an awesome God. We thank you, Father, that as you touch their families, Lord God, and cover them under the blood, we thank you that no harm will come nigh them. And then, Father, that you're touching their military staff, Lord God, and those that are their soldiers. Father, that they'll know how to, and giving them witty ideas, the endurance to protect their own borders, Lord God. And we thank you that as they check their history, Lord God, of their ancestors, you said when their obedience was fulfilled, you always had their back. So, Father, we decree a spirit of obedience upon them, Lord God, that as they obey, Lord God, you we know, Lord God, that you are a God that never lost a battle. Uh, and you will continue to watch over them because you said Israel shall be saved. And we thank you for it right now in advance that they are saved. And even those that are trickling back home, from the Holocaust, Lord God. We thank you that you're strengthening them, that you're giving them endurance, and that, Father, that you're giving boldness to those priests that are saved, Lord God, to speak the truth, the unadulterated truth. And every spirit that's not of you will be uprooted up out of there in the name of Jesus. We curse it to the root in the name of Jesus right now. You have no place and no authority. You're trespassing on God's property, and we decree and declare that just as you said in your word that it's your home if you pro you promised it to the, the descendants of abraham isaac and jacob and so father as they being descendants father we decree and declare that they shall receive and overtake and possess the land just as you promised and we thank you for that spirit of obedience and that father that we've been the engrafted descendants, Lord God. We thank you for looking over us in the process, Lord God, that as we stand in the gap and make up the hedge, and Father, we pray that thy kingdom come, thy will be done in Israel as it's already done in heaven, that it's already a done deal. When we decree and declare that thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it's already done in heaven, and we thank you, Lord God, for life everlasting. We thank you for the joy that fills our soul from deep down within. We thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding that keeps our heart and mind in Christ Jesus. We bind our minds to the mind of Christ as we put on the full armor, as we study the word, uh, as we study the word, that we just don't be just hears of the word, but that we be doers of the word. That this is not just something we do on Sunday, but that it becomes a lifestyle in the name of Jesus. Let it become our lifestyle in the name of Jesus. That we become the walking epistles that your word said we are. That we can see ourselves the way you see us as walking epistles. The light of the world, the salt of the earth, that we may that the church may savor what's left of this earth, Lord God, and that sinners may come running when they see us and say, what must I do to be saved? And we thank you, Lord God, that these signs shall follow them that believe, that we will be able to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And they will speak in new tongues. But Father, we thank you also that the lame will walk, 
the deaf would hear, yeah. the blinded eyes would be opened. Yeah. That yes, Lord, we thank you that the power will return to the church as you promised, Lord God, and as you set out from the very beginning, that you said, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and nothing by any means shall harm us. So Father, let us take that authority in that rightful place, that if we get in position, and as we get in our rightful place, that we can decree and declare a thing and it shall be so. You said we can decree a thing. Yes. And you said we're to touch and agree in my name. There am I in the midst. So Father, we invite you in. We say, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Let your presence fill this place. Let your glory fill this place. But we ask in not just this place, Lord God, but our temple, which we are. For we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So Father, help us to watch what we put into our temple. Be careful what we put into our temple. As we feed in the word, then you said the word would come up out of us as springs of living water. You said out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. That living water is the word of God, the spoken word of God. And it will come forth with power, with conviction and authority to tear down the enemy, strongholds. And we bring down every stronghold that is not of you in the name of Jesus. And we up pluck it up from the root core in the name of Jesus and we fill it with your love. We fill it with your word and we fill it with the fruits of the spirit of love, joy, peace, meekness, tenderness, goodness, kindness and against such there is none other. So we loose you in this place Lord God and we loose you on the lives of the people that you get full glory, full praise and full honor it's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit, said the Lord, that you will do wonders in the land. So you said, just as it was written earlier and it's written in the word, if my people who are called by my name. So all of us that claim to be called saints, claim to be called Christians, take heed that no, you may not be on the battlefield all the time but you want to be called the saint, we have to start acting like the saints and decree and declare by choice. I choose to live holy. I choose to have an excellent spirit. And if we don't know how to, he said, ask, ask anything that you're lacking. He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. He said, blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness sake, for they shall be filled. And he wants to fill us up and not just fill us to where we halfway full, but fill us to the overflow. Huh? That when we overflow, we can't help but when folks come up next to us, it'll rub off on them. We become contagious. And they're like, I, get, I feel you when you come near me. And they love to be in your presence. So, Father, we thank you for the overflow. We thank you for your outpouring. And we thank you, Lord God, for just falling afresh on us, Lord God. That not for fame, fortune, or fashion, but that you be glorified. That you be magnified. That souls be saved. Lives be changed. Hearts be turned around. Break up those stony hearts with the word of God and put in that heart of flesh and give them hearts of, that are tender to be nurtured. Yeah. And then, Father, let it, as they receive the word, give them a receptive heart to receive. An understanding in their mind that they will understand what the Spirit has to say and give them, open their deaf ears to hear what the Spirit has to say and remove the scales from their eyes that they might see what the Spirit wants them to see. That it's not just by us just reading what we say, but Father, let the Word become real in their lives each and every day in the name of Jesus. And we choose to give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen.
glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. We got some prayer words right here, don't we? Thank you, Lord. Anybody else want to start praying before I get up here? Before I start? I'm, you want to pray? You want to pray? Can she pray in Russian? If you, if you interpret. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. Next time. Okay. So we're gonna do this every Friday night. Every, every, every. Not every Friday night, but but the last Friday night of every month. This is the first one. Amen. But we're gonna do this the Friday, the last Friday night of every month, and we also fasting and praying these last three days of the month. Amen. So that, that, that this prayer night gonna fall. We're gonna, we're, I hope it fall right in line with our prayer fasting every time. It'll be great, amen. But anyway, I just wanted to thank y'all for coming tonight and glory to God. But y'all are some prayer words. I like that. I like that. Amen. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory, Lord. Amen. We know God that all things do work together for good to them that love you, to those who are called according to your purpose. Father, we can't do nothing without you, so we look to you with confidence. We look to you knowing, God, that, that it's in you that we live and move and have our being. It's not in ourselves. It's not in what we can do, what we can accomplish in our own self. But, God, we look to you, the great one that dwells within us. We know, Father, that as we put our confidence and our trust in you, we know that all things are possible because, God, we have put our trust in you and we believe that you are God, that you have come to set the captives free. Father, many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all. And, God, we know that the day, Father, that the, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Oh, yes, Lord God, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, but the violence must take it by force. And as we take our position... And as we bring this thing to a head, God, we know, God, that you're going to move it among us. You're going to move among us. You're going to move in our city. Father, we bind that spirit of, of, of disease that is coming upon our land, that corona, the virus. We bind it up in the spiritual realm. We break its power from operating in our city in the name of Jesus. And Father, we know, God, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and of a sound mind. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we break that demonic spirit. We come against, we take a bold stand against the principalities, against the powers, and against the rulers of the dark of this world that is working against our lives, that is working against the people of this city, and the people of the land, and the people of the world, God. This virus is something, Lord God, that, that is of the enemy. And Father, we, we, we boldly declare in the name of Jesus, that it shall be diminished. It shall be diminished. It shall cease its activity. It shall be. It shall stop its work in the name of Jesus. God, you have given us everything that we need. So, Father, we are the we are the ones that that carry the, the ability. We are the ones that carry the anointing. We are the ones that carry the power because you gave it to us, God. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit of corona, this virus that is moving across the land, it shall cease its activity in the name of Jesus. No harm shall come to the people of this city in the name of Jesus. This thing shall, 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 shall pass right on through and it shall go back to hell from which it has come in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every man and woman of God, every intercessor right now, Father, that they will begin to pray for the land, that they begin to pray for the people of the land, Father, that this disease would not overtake them, that would not bring them down, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, we know, God, that the evil comes up on the land, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to take us, Father, but we are your people. We are in Goshen right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We are protected. Glory to God. Because we are of your people. We are in your house. And we are calling upon you, Lord God. Oh God, we know that you are a deliverer. We know that you are a deliverer. Hallelujah. You delivered the children of Israel. Father, when the death spirit came in upon them, you delivered them, Father. You brought them out, Father, as of, uh, as of on the wings of an eagle, Lord God. You brought them out, Lord God, saved. Father, the, the old and the, and the feeble, you brought them all out, Father. They didn't have a feeble man or knee among them. And you brought them out, Lord God. Hallelujah. And you led them through the Red Sea, Lord God. Hallelujah. The enemy coming in behind them, Lord God. But God, you showed them that 
you showed them who was in charge. And God, I know today you are still the same God today as you was then. God, you're going to show that devil <coughs> who's in charge even now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for it. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Glory to God. 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 Father, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory for what you're doing right now in the spiritual realm. Father, you know you are welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, Father, I ask you that you would anoint every ear to hear, prepare every heart to receive. Make my tongue as I will pen over read and write it to write your word upon the heart and upon the mind of your people that they will know the truth <clears throat> and that the truth shall make them free. And Father, we come with you now that we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. I'm going to just give, uh, give us a little word today. Amen. Then we're going to all, we're all going to just start praying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. I just want to encourage you with a little word. Amen. From the Lord. Amen. And then we all just going to, we all going to just start praying. Amen. Yes. No one is going to be waiting on no one else to pray. Everyone is going to be praying. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you inter interpret for her? She want to pray. You want to interpret for her? <laughs> I, I, I see it all on. She want to pray. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Today, just listen. Just listen today? Okay. Well, it's good to see you. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I can just see it all over you, though. <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. We understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But this is but this is something that this is something we're going to be doing every month. Amen. Every month we're going to do this. Every last Friday of the month. We're going to do this. Amen. We're going to pray. We're going to intercede for our city. We're going to intercede for our communities. We're going to intercede for our families. Amen. Amen. And we're going to intercede for those that have need of prayer. So people, yes. you start getting us your prayer requests. Amen. Because this is not just a one-time thing. This is going to last throughout the year of 2020. Amen. And we're going to be praying for you. We're going to be interceding for you. We're going to be lifting you up in prayer. How many know people need prayer? Amen. People need prayer. Amen. We all know that, don't we? Amen. People need prayer. And not only do we need prayer, we need to, we need to, we need to, uh, to ask God to help us while we are in our daily routine. Amen. While we're walking around doing, carrying out our daily assignment. God wants us to be uh, men of understanding. Amen. Who we are as children of God. I've been teaching on prayer for the last two nights at, for, my, for my home. Amen. And, uh, and it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. And I want to just do a little teaching along, along that line tonight. And then we're going to start just... We got it till midnight, so we, it's just not seven. It's just not eight o'clock. We still got plenty of time. <laughs> it's five minutes to eight. We're gonna be here till midnight. Glory to God. So those that want to, you know, you want to stay, you're welcome to stay. You want, you know, but I want, I want, I want everyone to stay. But I can't make you. Amen. I can definitely encourage you to do to do so. Amen. But we'll be here till midnight tonight. Amen. And don't and don't y'all forget tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is Saturday night. We're going to be with uh, Greg Moore. Marshall Ministries. Amen. We're going to be with them. What is that? What? That's on um, um, the court. Uh, Marriott. I will, uh, I will give the information. You will, you will, I'll let you get that announcement yeah. later. Okay, that'd be great. That'd be great because we have a uh, uh, we want we want to support them. They they are they 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 are been a been a strength to us throughout the the years, and we want to be a strength to them. Amen. We want to be a blessing back to them. Amen. So now, I want to just share with you something that you know just in my heart, and uh, and I pray that uh, because it's about fasting and praying. Because we still got one more day of fasting. 
one more day. That's tomorrow. I, I, how many of y'all been fasting? You've been, you been holding on? <laughs> you got a man. <laughs> amen. 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 But uh, God's, but God, but God knows, God knows our hearts. That's the one, that's the main important thing. That when we fast, we're fasting unto the Lord. We're not fasting to be pleasing to man. This is not our purpose for fasting. We are fasting to be, so that what you know? Can someone tell me what happens to us when we fast? What happens to us as an individual when we're fasting? You're fighting the urge to, to eat? You, uh, you're fighting that. You're doing that too. You're fighting the urge to eat, but it's more than that. Yeah. It's more than that. You're clean. Okay. It, 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 pur it purifies you. That's good. Yeah. It surrenders the flesh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It surrenders the flesh. Amen. In other words, the, uh, uh, Paul said in Galatians 2, 20, said, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Amen. So what we're doing, we're bringing our body under subjection to the Holy Ghost and to the will of God. Amen. And when we do that, when we do that, the Spirit of God, the presence of God, the anointing of God, the power of God, it began to lift the burdens off your shoulder that the devil had placed upon you. Amen. It began to lift the burdens and begin to destroy the yokes that the enemy has tried to pressure you down. That spirit of depression is not yours. It's not yours. Amen. So when we are, when we are, when we're fasting and praying, we, we can expect deliverance. Amen. We can expect deliverance. Amen. Because you see, the the more we fast and the more we fast and pray, the 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 the, the relationship with the Father become become more strict, more stronger. Become more stronger. Amen. And as the relationship begins get stronger, the, the the things that's on your life that have been placed upon you by the world is start to drop off you. Why? Because you the closer you come to God, the more the more you lose you lose of this world. The more you're free from this world. The closer you draw to God, the, clo the, the more you're free from this world. And this is what God is wanting. This is what God wanted to see in the lives of his people. Amen. And the things that have hold, held you in bondage, you know, when I was a, before I was, before I got saved, I was in bondage to, uh, to uh, some addictions. Before I became a child of God, I was in bondage to addictions. Amen. But when I became a, a born, when I became a born again Christian, and as I began to get closer to God, amen, as I began to get closer, the addictions began to drop off, amen. They had no power over me. Why? Because I no longer desired them. I desired God more than the, than the things that I was involved with. And because of that, because of that, my life become meaningful, amen. I had a purpose I had, I could set goals, amen, in my life. Because before, I was living as though I didn't care, amen. But when I got born again, when I got saved, I began to care. I began to care about my own self. You know, because before I was saved, I lived just like everybody else living in the world. Don't care about nothing. I used to fight just because I could. Okay. Yeah. Y'all wouldn't want to know me back then. <laughs> Amen. Thank God for the new birth. Amen. <laughs> Thank God that I'm born again. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Because now, now I am a free man. I'm free. And he that the son set free is what? It's free indeed. Amen. And, and a lot of that I can contribute to fasting and praying. Amen. 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 Fasting and praying. Glory to God. Because you see, I learned not even trying to do it, not even planning on doing it. I started casting out devils and stuff and didn't even know what, what, what was going on. Amen. I just got tired of people messing with me. And I just, and I, and I, and I was doing a lot of prayer, a lot of fasting back then too. And I just got tired of people messing with me. And I walked in this house, 
Hey, man, they was all sitting around the, top, around the table drinking and smoking and stuff and all this stuff. And they started, who asked this preacher? Who invited this preacher over here? They start putting their mouth on me for no reason at all. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind you, devil. Then all of a sudden, oh, 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 be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. He knows something, you know. <laughs> the devil started saying, don't mess with him. He knows something. You see, when you understand who you are, you don't have to fight with no devil. You don't have to try to defend yourself. The word of God, the anointing of God will work in you. The presence of God will flow through you. And the demons will recognize the anointing and the authority that backs you. Amen. That's why it's so important to, to pray right now during this crisis that is in our land. Amen. Because the devil knows the Christian. The devil knows the child of God. The devil knows those that know who that God is. Amen. When you know who your God is, you don't have to be afraid of no disease. You don't have to be afraid of no virus. Amen. Amen. They bring in, I heard that they're bringing in these, uh, these tankers down the, down the road right now they, to break coming into the city. Amen. To, uh, to help out with the medical situation that, that, that they're expecting. And this is not a time to be afraid, folks. This is the time to pray. This is a time to pray. Glory to God. Amen. So don't, don't, don't allow what the news is showing you to cause you to fear. Fear gives the devil fuel. Fear fuels the power of the enemy. If we want to, if we want to stop that, then we got to let faith rise up in our heart. We got to let faith rise up in our heart because the greater one lives on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't allow fear because this disease, this disease, this virus, you think it's just, you think it's uh, just only in China? This virus is all around the world right now. It's all around the world. The whole world is under alert right now. It's under alert. Amen. This is not just, this is not just a, a small thing. Amen. They, I mean, they, you, you remember those bunkers they set up for, for, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my! They, 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 I can't think of the name of it right now. But they started, they started setting these bunkers up for these people that are that that that, that are, they got the quarantine. Mm -hmm. The Ebola virus. Uh huh. The Ebola virus. Yeah, that too. But with the, with the, the, the place that they set up for those people, they set them up for. They got they got, they reopened them now for this particular purpose. And and folks, God want you to know that you are protected. No evil shall befall you. Neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. For the Lord has given his angels charge over you, and they will keep you in all your ways. And in your pathway is life, and there is no death. Glory to God. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to, this is why we're praying. This is why we're seeking the face of God. So my wife, she started off with Psalm 91. That's a, that, that's a powerful song for such a time as this. Yeah. Amen? That's a, that's a powerful song for such a time as this. Because it's talking it's talk about, talk about the pestilence. What is pestilence? Pestilence is viruses. It's viruses. Yeah, diseases and viruses. And that's what it's talking about. And he said, no, even when prayer needs you, any prayer come not your dwelling. A plague is, is, is the same thing. Amen? And so, and, and so we know that God is with us. Why? Because we're still here. <laughs> because we're still here. Amen. We're gonna be we're gonna be praying in just a few minutes. Amen. We're gonna be praying in just a few minutes. But I'm gonna share this word with you just now. I'm gonna share the word with you. She she opened up with the word, with a with a, a powerful scripture in some the second Chronicles chapter fourteen, chapter seven verse number fourteen. I won't gonna read that one. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. But I'm going to start reading from verse number. I'm going to start reading from verse number. So to the okay, verse number 11. I'm going to start reading from verse number 11. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 11. Amen. Thus Solomon fashioned the house of the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that came unto Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord. 
and in the and in his own house he prosperously effect, effected. And the Lord appeared. Notice what he said. And the Lord appeared. That's a visitation. Glory to God. <laughs> That's a visitation. I mean, you know that we 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 are we are being set up right now for a visitation. Yes. Amen. Sacramento is being set up for a visitation. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, don't let this, don't let what don't let what you hear out there uh, interrupt your life. You just keep walking by faith and not by sight. And don't go around shaking everybody's hand. <laughs> just say, how you doing? And keep on walking. <laughs> Amen. Make sure you get you some sanitizer. Make sure you get you some sanitizer. If you do shake in one hand, that you be have something to clean your hands. Make sure it's 70 70 percent alcohol. Six to the seven percent alcohol. <laughs> huh? Above 60, yeah. <laughs> it's because that's because this is what the hospitals use. And if, and if they use it, it's good. Amen? <laughs> Amen. So now, and, and don't go put your... See, the germ is looking for a place. The germ is looking for a place to dwell. And, it, and, and you got to be... You got to help it to get there. So don't be playing with people, talking with people, and, and touching people. And then go put your hand all over your mouth. First soldier from South Korea come down with the coronavirus just yesterday. Just oh God. This Amen. See? God is God is God is showing us that. Amen. Over 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 twenty seven thousands have already died. And over eighty seven thousand have been affected. Yeah, that we are. That's why I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Amen. Don't let fear grab your heart. Keep your heart stayed on God. Amen. Because, you see, you're not going nowhere until the Lord rests. You go anyway. Amen. You're not going anywhere until the Lord says so. And then verse number 13 says, If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, if I command the locusts that they devour the land, if I send pestilence. There it is again. You see what I'm saying? If I send pestilence among my people, then it says verse number 14, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven mm, and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. See, God is showing us that we are in the right place Amen. by in the house and call upon his name, crying out to him on the behalf of the land. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praying for our city, praying for our community, praying for the, yes. the people that have, that, that have been affected, praying for the the, yes. the the carriers, the people that are carrying the disease and don't even know it. Yeah. Amen. Some don't know. They don't know they're carrying it until it's too late. Glory to God. So we are we we, we we have we have a job to do as children of God. We gotta pray like we never prayed before. We gotta pray. Amen. Because I like what he said right here. Right here he said, because the same thing, the pestilence is is also in Psalm 91. And here we are reading right here in, in, in Chronicles. Amen. Because God is encouraging the people to pray. He's encouraging the people to pray. Amen. If we pray, we can turn this thing around. But if we just sit back and say, ooh, look, I heard about Juicy over there, ooh, and he got the disease, ooh. No. We should not be focused on who getting it, who's not getting it. We should be focusing on God. Amen. Amen. He is the author of life. He's the giver of life. It's the thief that come to steal, kill, and to destroy. That's how come I know this is not from God. Because God don't come to kill, steal, and destroy. It's the thief that come to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you may have what? Life. life. And that more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <clears throat> so he said, if, verse number 13 again, if I shut up heaven, that there'll be no rain. This is 2 Chronicles. Those of you just joined us by the internet, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 13. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, 
or if I send pestilence. Notice that if I send pestilence, that's God talking. Amen. Now, 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 why would God send pestilence? Huh? Get rid of the evil people. Get rid of the evil people? They ought to cause them to start repenting one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Repentance is going to sweep the land. Glory to God. People are going to start. The church is going to start exactly. being full starting Sunday. You want? <laughs> Amen. People are scared. They're going to run to the church now. Amen. And, and, and they, they don't need to just run to the church. They need to go to church for a purpose. They need not just to run for their life, but to run to God. Run to God, yeah. and not from not not from a not from the evil of the land. But you're gonna run from the evil. Of the land. That's good. You run from the evil of the land. But the thing about it, that you run into God, not just because of the evil of the land. You run to God because you know that He is your Savior. He is your deliverer. He is the one that can keep you in even in the midst of the storm. Amen. He will watch over you. He will cause you to He will cause you to to, to rise up and be strong. And do great exploits in the midst of adversity. That's right. Amen. In the midst of adversity. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to have to put this back on because this one's going to time out on me. Amen. Just give me a second. It don't take but a second. It'll be right back up and running again. These people here, they, they, they all the way from Indonesia watching this program. And we want them to see it. Amen. We want them to see it. Just like everybody else. Amen. I hear about a few people on that line that got cut off. Now they're back. Or they got the opportunity to come back. Amen. So he, so he said, if, he said, and if I send pestilence among my people, he said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. You see, he's showing you why the pestilence are here. Because the people are yielding to their wicked ways instead of turning from their wicked ways. This is why the pestilence is in the land. Because of wickedness is in the land. Evil people. Oh my God. I remember what God said to Noah. I, God said, I repented that I made man. Woo. Because of the evilness that, that was in the heart in the heart of man. God said, I repented that I made man. Amen. So we can understand why why we, why the pestilence is here now. Amen. Because of the evil. The evil. Amen. Remember, God said, This is not the end. This is the beginning of sorrow. He said, the end is not yet. This is the beginning of sorrow. Amen. So we are in the end time, folks. This is some, this is one of the end time events that we are experiencing mm -hmm. in our land. Amen. 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 This is one of the end time uh, events that we are experiencing in our land, and this is why it's time for the church, like never before. See, God going to visit. Woo! Glory to God. God is going to visit His people. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And I want you all to be ready. I'm going to do my best to help you to get ready. Amen. I'm going to do my part. And I just want you to do your part. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I noticed that there's a lot of a lot of prayer going on right now across the land. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, I just want you to to just prepare your heart because God, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you, and God's gonna touch God's gonna touch some lives today. Amen. God's gonna touch some lives. Hallelujah. And now let's go to let's go to uh Koshiti. In the book of Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59. Verse 1. 
verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2. Behold, the Lord hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquity, see, we're talking, there you go again. Your iniquity have separate have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he cannot hear. See, that must be a repentance. There must be a repentance. People, God is speaking. God is speaking. And he's calling for the church to repent. He called for the people of the land to repent. Amen. He's calling us to a place of separation. He wants us to separate ourselves from the world. He said, you are in the world, but you're not of the world. And it's time for you to start seeing yourself that way. Amen. Because this is the way God sees us. Remember when the deaf angel came into Goshen? They was all in the same land. The, the, the children of Israel and the Egyptians, they was all in the same land. But because they realized what God was doing, they was able to protect themselves. How did they protect themselves? They was given specific instructions. And they did follow the instructions. Amen. And as they followed the instructions, they were saved. They were delivered. They were, they were set free. And the next day, they ran them. They said, you can get out of here. And what happened when they left? They came out with the spoils. They came out with the gold and with the silver. They came out with all the, the riches of Egypt. I can just see the king now. Take it. You want my? You want? You want to take all the sport? Then take it. <laughs> Glory to God. He, he said, "Get out of my sight. I don't want to see you no more." Okay. Now, once he's gone, once they're gone, they begin to realize, well, "What did we just do? <laughs> we don't gave him everything. Now they done not only got everything, but who's gonna do our work for us now? We don't have no more slaves." <laughs> they realized they had lost. They realized they got lost everything. So what they do? They go after them. They go after them, and and God head them off at the Red Sea. Their horses and the riders were drowning in the Red Sea. Hallelujah! Glory to God! You don't want. You don't want. You don't want to fight against a God, Amen. That is able to deliver. And under any circumstance, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the book of Acts, chapter 1, in the book of Acts, chapter 1, it see, 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 as we as we as we continue along this line, God gonna, I'm telling you, we're gonna see some things. Are y'all turning? Okay. Glory to God. Amen. Now in the book of Acts chapter 1, Amen. See, it's time for it's time for revival to come to our land. It's time for revival to come to our land. God wants to God wants to touch lives. Everywhere we look, we see people of are having issues and they're and they're looking for someone that they can talk to. They're looking for someone that they can that they can uh, uh, that they can communicate with. And you know, most people don't want to hear nobody else's problem. I don't, you you got to be a counselor these days in order to listen to someone's problems. Otherwise, they don't want nobody want to listen to your. No, they want to listen to you moan and groan. Amen. Glory to God. But I like this. I like this right here because he said in Acts chapter 1, verse number 4, it said, And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, 
But you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Amen. Not many days hence. Glory to God. And, and, and now, now look right there at verse number 8. It said, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost parts of the earth. Glory to God. Now let's look at another scripture here because I'm, 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 a, I'm going to establish a point right here in just a minute. Look at verse number 13. Amen. Verse number 13 said, And, and when, when we were come, in they went they went up into the upper room where abode both Peter, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, and James the son of Aphias, and so Simon Zelote, and Judah the brother of James. These all continued with one accord. Notice what he said. These all continue how? With one accord, doing what? In prayer. These all continue with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus was and, and was with them was with the brother amen so we see that prayer was a part of their lifestyle back then amen prayer played a great part of their lifestyle back then even for their deliverance prayer was a great part of their lifestyle amen so this is this is one reason why we pray folks this is one reason why we pray. Amen. Because prayer, there's revival can start through prayer. Deliverance can happen through prayer. Amen. Salvation can come about when someone is praying. Amen. People have a way out of their situation when people have a compassion to pray. Amen. Now we, we just talked about Acts chapter. Look at uh verse, look at uh, chapter 2, verse number. Let's go to chapter 2 now. Acts, <clears throat> Acts chapter 2. Amen. Now let's look down at verse number 16. Acts, the, Acts chapter 2, verse number 16. And but but this is but this is that which spoken, which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, that I will do what? Pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall dream dreams. Shall, shall, shall see vision, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaid will I pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Amen. See, God is looking for people that will be bold right now. Amen. God is looking for people that will see the situation and and and, uh, and assess it and assess it. And then take a bold stand in the presence of God. See, this is where I, this is where Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse number 30 uh, becomes into play. Amen. God is saying right now to us, God is saying to the people of the land, God is saying to America and to China, God is saying to, to India, to Africa, to, to, to uh, 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 Indonesia, <laughs> Indonesia, God is saying to, uh, uh, what the name of that? Uh, Canada. Amen. God is saying to all these nations around us, God is saying that oh my God. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse number 30. He said, and I sought for a man. God is looking for a man. God is looking for a woman. God is looking for someone that will take a bold stand right now and begin to pray and intercede for the land. Yes, amen. amen. To begin to pray and intercede for the land. Glory to God. For your land because I'm telling you just as sure as that disease, that virus has come to America it's in other countries. Because everybody was flying the same plane. <laughs> and they all went different directions. Okay. Amen. They go to one airport and they Get on another plane, go another direction. And I'm telling you, this is why this is why the government is dispatching these medical units. Amen. Because they know what's going on. So we have to be praying. We have to pray. We got and we got to tell, we got to encourage others to pray. Amen. So we're gonna start praying right now. We're gonna be praying in just a minute. It's, in just a few more minutes. It's, it's uh, 8.30 now. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to be praying. 
Amen. But can I finish this first? Let me finish this first. Amen. Glory to God. Then we're going to let Pastor Over come back up here and, and pray again to one of those powerful prayers for everybody on the internet. Glory to God. Amen. You know, people, people, they said, I like that. They said, I like that. I said, why don't you come and join us? Oh, I can't this time, but maybe next time. <laughs> they can join online. Huh? They can join online. Yeah, they can join online. That's what they're doing right now. They're joining us right now online. That's what they're doing right now. Amen. So now, now what did I say? Chapter 2, verse number 16. Did I read it? Yeah. How far did I go? Went up to 19. Went up to verse number 18. I did verse number 18. Okay, okay. So now let's I, let's go a little bit further. Okay, and, and verse number nineteen said, "And I will and I will show wonders in the, in the heaven and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire, and vapors of smoke. Then the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come." Verse twenty-one, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There it is again. The same thing is written right there in the book of Romans. Amen. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. God is looking at us now. Now let's go to the book of Joel. The book of Joel chapter chapter uh Chapter 2, Joel chapter 2, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Joel is right after Hosea. In my Bible. <laughs> right. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. In the book of Joel chapter 2, let's look at verse number. I think uh, verse number uh, there we go that's chapter 2 my page is stuck together look at verse number 12 amen Joel chapter 2 start reading verse number 12 and it reads therefore also now saith the Lord turn ye even to me with all your heart See, God is talking to God is talking to the people of the land. God is trying to get the people of the land's attention. Amen. Amen. That's right. This is a this is a call for this is a call for for all humanity to return to God. Amen. Because you see, folks, if we don't turn to God then you're going to be facing the price of turning your back on God. Which one do you want? Amen. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you, you, if you turn your back on God, what are you going to face? You're going to face the wrath that's on the land. The pestilence. You won't have no one to hide. You won't have no one to protect you. Amen. You won't have no one to, you won't have nowhere to run because you turn your back on the one that can help you. The one that can deliver you. The one that can save you. It's time to repent and, re and return to God. It's time to get sin out of your life. Amen. And acknowledge, God, I need you right now. Amen. And, and I, don't, I don't just need you right now, God. I need you for the rest of my life. Glory to God. Amen. So it's time for, the, it's time for America to begin to acknowledge the and the repentance is very valuable right now. Amen. You know what it says, verse number 12 again? Verse number 12, this is Joel chapter 2, verse number 12. Therefore also now said the Lord, turn ye even to me with your with all your heart. And with fasting. You hear that word? Fasting. Amen. And with weeping and mourning. Amen. And rent not your and rent your heart and not and not your garment. So many people rent their garment thinking that's gonna make them all right. No, God wants to see your heart. Amen. God sees your heart. Turn 
unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and, re and repented him of the evil. Amen. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him? What, what the blessing he's going to leave behind him? He's going to leave you walking upright. He's going to leave you healed. He's going to leave you delivered. Amen. Even, um, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Verse number 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion sanctuary. Sanctuary. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctified a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of, of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Verse 18, verse 17, I mean. Let the priest, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. Woo! Are y'all getting this? Amen. Why? That's right. He's standing in the gap. He's prepared. He, he, he's showing God that God, we repent. We come to you, Lord. God, we are sorry for what we've done. We turn our hearts back to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We turn our hearts back to you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. I hate it when them people do that. To just knock my thing offline. Messenger audio. Stop trying to call me. Whoever you are. Huh? I'm on. You keep trying to call me when I'm doing my live programs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dismiss you from my friendship. That's what I'm gonna do. Amen. That's where to stop. Don't be shaking your head. That ain't gonna solve the issue. Amen. So now. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God got me off my key. Amen. So what we start? Verse number 17. Verse number 17 says, Let the priest and the minister of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, Spare the people, O Lord. Notice what he said? Spare the people, O Lord. Amen. And give not thine heritage to to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. There, wherefore should they say among the people, where is your, where is their God? Amen. Where is their God? That's right. He is right here. Amen. Glory to his name. So, so we want to keep our hearts in the right place with God. We want to know that God is moving in our midst. We want to know that God is showing us his glory and his strength right now. Amen. We want to know that God has not left us alone. He said in Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 9, he said, verse number 10, I mean, he said, uh, uh. <laughs> glory to God. <laughs> I am, I am thy God. I am with you. I will help you. I will hold thee by the righteousness of my right hand. Amen. Let me just turn to, let me make sure I'm right. <laughs> yeah, fear not thou. Fear not, for I am thy God. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. With the right hand of my righteousness. Glory to God. Now, when I look at that, it makes me want to go over here to the Psalms. Uh, Isaiah 58, because now we're going to see, we're going to see that God is dealing with our hearts. On, uh, we, we, we know that He wants to, He want, uh, He wants the people of the land to return to Him. So now we got to, as we return to Him, yeah. we need to turn to Him 
so the burdens be lifted, the yoke will be destroyed, that yeah. that the that the, the depression will have no power of you, the power of God will be broken totally off you. Amen. So that's what we're gonna find out right here in chapter uh, 58, Isaiah 58. Look at verse number six. Verse number verse number five. Verse number five. Verse number five says, It is it it is it, it is such a fast. Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day of man, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bullrich and to spread cyclops and ashes under him? Would thou call this a fast and an acceptable day of the Lord to the Lord? Verse number six. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? I like this right here because he now he's showing us the fast that he's chosen for us. Amen. And he's gonna show us the benefits of this fast. To loose the band of wickedness. There it is, folks. God wants you to be free. Amen. God wants you free. To loose the band of wickedness, to undo the what? The heavy burden. The heavy burden. See, the anointing lifts the burdens and destroys the yoke. Amen. And to let the oppressed go free. That the oppressed is the spirit of oppression that is that is that is working to hold you in bondage. Amen. God wants you to be free from it. Amen. And that the yoke that the that he break every yoke. Amen. What is a yoke? A yoke is the thing that holds you in bondage. Amen. Yeah, they put it around a horse's neck too. Amen. But uh, but the devil put it around your neck to keep you to follow his will, his purpose, his plan to destruction. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we have to understand. We got to do it God's way because in doing it God's way, we will be free. The yokes are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And so he said, now notice what, he, notice what it goes on to say right here. Right, right verse number seven says, is it not, uh, is it not to deal the bread uh, up to the hungry and that, 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 that thou bring to the poor that are cast out of thy house, Amen. How many of you walk? You 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 riding down the road, and you you see people on the side of the road begging. You see it all the time, don't you? All the time, I always want to stop. Yeah, but the thing about it that you ain't got enough to give for everybody. And most of them are there because they want to be. But you got to still listen to God and have compassion on those that God will have you have compassion on. Because some of them is forced out there. Some of them didn't have a choice. That's why you got to pray. That's why you got to. I don't. I, I pass by a lot of. I don't. But when the Lord places my heart to help, that's the one I help. When the Lord places my heart to help, that's the one I help. Amen. God want to help all of us right now. God wants to help all of us right now. He wants us all to, to acknowledge our ways. God wants to bring us to a place of repentance. He wants to bring us to a place where we will see ourselves under the shadow of the Almighty. Abiding under His wings. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost on that. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, what time we got? It is 8.41. Give me just a few more minutes, then we're gonna we're gonna stop this and we're gonna go ahead on and start praying again. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. See, when we fast and when we pray, when we're fasting and praying. That's just like saying, Father, God, I honor you above my own self. 
I acknowledge you above my own desires. Because from a natural, who wants to not eat? <laughs> Everybody wants to eat because that's how we even gain our strength. Amen. No one wants to do without food. What happens when we do without food? We're, we're saying, Father, I want to please you right now. Hallelujah. And in order for me to please you right now, I have to bring my flesh under subjection. And I have to humble myself under your mighty hand. And when I do that, when I do that, my body get mad. My body get mad because you, you mean tell me you're going to starve me again? <laughs> oh my God. I said, yeah, I'm going to starve you. <laughs> he said, no, you ain't. I said, yes, I am. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. I'm talking to my body. Amen. And I, and I, and I said, we'll see who's going to win. Then all of a sudden, I go a day without food, and I go two days. He said, you stop that. You stop that. My body began to cry out to me. You stop that. I'm hungry. I said, no, you're not going to eat nothing. Messenger audio. I know what I'm going to do with you. <laughs> you're going to kick me off again. I'm going to talk to you right now. You that keep calling in right now, you stop your calling in. Don't do that right now. I will deal with this later. Glory to God. It's all good. Same person? I didn't speak up. Okay. I don't know about the walk. Amen. Glory to God. But anyway, praise the Lord. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Where where you humble yourself before God to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens? To free yourself from oppression. This is what happens when you humble yourself before God in prayer and fasting. Amen. God sets you free in different areas of your life. Amen. In different areas of your life, you experience the freedom that only comes from God. Amen. And when you do that, you say, God, thank you so much. Never heard of Kelly not seen. God, this day, everything want to mess with me today. That's okay. I'm going to stop. We're just going to start praying. Amen. Glory to God. So now, <clears throat> make me lose my composure. But I'm gaining it right back, glory to God. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we praise you and we worship you. We cover ourselves right now, Father, with the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We claim protection of, of the blood over our families, over our members of our church, over our friends, over our city, and over our, uh, over everything that you have placed within our hands to, to, to hold fast to, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we surrender. We surrender our will. We surrender our plan. We surrender our purpose to your plan, your will, to your purpose, Lord God. We surrender our life completely in every area, Father, our life. We surrender it all to you. We take a stand right now against the, the, the virus that is coming against our land. We take a stand right now against the, this coronavirus that is coming against our land. And Father, you said when you know the truth, the truth 
truth shall make you free. So, Father, we cover ourselves with the truth of your word. You said that no weapon formed against us will prosper, Lord God. You said that every, everything that rises up, every tongue that rises up against us in judgment shall be condemned. Father, we believe, God, that your word will not fall to the ground, but your word will accomplish that what pleases you. And, Father, we live. We are, li we are, we are living we are living epistles in our, in the land today. God, we are members of the body of Christ. We are members of the of the household of God. And Father, we believe that we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Satan, you have no power over this church, over this ministry, and over this city, and over this people, this land. We bind you, we break you, we loose you from your assignment in the name of Jesus. Father, we command demonic, we, we command the demonic forces of darkness to leave this realm, to leave this region right now. We bind the principality. We take a stand against the principality, against the powers, and against the rules of the dark of this world. We bind, we cast down every spiritual weakness in high places. We bring them harmless and ineffective against us now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that your word is alive and helpful to heal to all our flesh. And as we yield to you, Lord God, God, we realize, Father, that you are you are with us, that you will never leave us, that you will never forsake us, God. You have given us everything that we need to obtain God, to walk, to walk in this life. God, you say to be holy, for I am holy. Father, you're calling, the, you're calling the people of the land to repentance. Father, you're showing us in the word, God, that the pestilence, oh my God, you allowed it, God, because of the wickedness that is in the land. And Father, as the people turn from that wickedness, you said if, if I send, if I send the, the, if I hold back the rain, what, if I send pestilence, Father, you said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, you said, then will I hear from heaven and I'll forgive their sin and I will heal the land. Father, we are your people. We hear you speaking to our heart. And God, we humble ourselves before your mighty hand. We repent of our sins, God. We ask you, Father, to forgive us. Forgive America, Lord God, for the sin. Forgive the church, Lord God, for the sin. Forgive us of our sin. Let your kingdom come, Father. Let your will be done, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We claim complete sovereignty. Oh, God, we claim complete deliverance in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you, you, have, you have given us the spirit of, 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 you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you've given us the spirit of power, a spirit of love, and the spirit of a sound mind. So, Father, we look to you, Lord God. We realize, Father, that God, that you are, that you are uh, uh, watching over your word, God. And today, Father, as we look to you, Father, we know, God, that no weapon formed against us problem. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are not trying to be strong in ourselves, but God, you said in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, you have find my brother, be strong in the Lord. So, Father, we are real strong in the Lord right now. We put on the whole arm of God right now. Let's put on the whole arm of God, folks. Let's put it on right now. We put on the whole arm of God right now. We gird about Lord with the truth. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. Our feet are shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, Father, we take the shield of faith to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. We take the heaven of the salvation, Lord God. We put it on, and we take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And with all manner of prayer and supplication, Father, we come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. We thank you, Father, God, that you have given us power over all the powers of the enemy. You said that nothing shall by enemies hurt us. So, Father, we are not moved by the circumstances. We are not moved by situations. We are not moved by what the world is saying and what the world is doing. But, God, we know that, God, that as we, as we walk by faith, not by sight, that God of Abraham, of Isaac, and Jacob will deliver us. He will deliver us. And if, even, if he, even if he don't, we know that he can. But, God, we know that you will. We know that you will. In the name of Jesus. And now we break every demonic stronghold of Satan that is formed against our, our people, that is formed against this community, that is formed against this state, that is formed against our country. We bind it up right now in the spiritual realm. We bind it up and we lose it from its assignment in the name of Jesus. Today, Lord God, we give you, we, 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 we lay our emotions down before you, Lord God, that we will not be moved by our emotions. We will not be, we will not allow our emotions to get in the way, Father. Because, God, we are not walking by the flesh, but we are walking by the Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord God. The Spirit of life in Christ Jesus made us free from the law of sin and death. Because we repented of our sin and we have turned from our wicked ways. Therefore, Father, we will hear from heaven. 
You will forgive our sin. You will heal our land according to your word. We claim complete, we claim complete absolute victory over the forces of darkness that is working against us. We claim complete absolute victory, Lord God. Not 20%, not 30%, not 50%. We say we claim 100% victory over this enemy that is coming against our land. In the name of Jesus. Lord shall tell out of a kind, out of a kind. Now, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus because the principalities and the powers have there are no match for the church. There are no match for the for the kingdom of God. Because you've given us power over all the powers of the enemy. Over all the powers of the enemy. Hallelujah. And you say that nothing shared by enemies hurt us. We believe your word, God. We believe your word. And we stand upon that promise. We know that your word will not return for us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you. Father, we thank you, Lord God. You are the Jehovah's here to you, the Lord our righteousness. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah 23 and 6, and he's Days the Judah shall be saved in the name of Jesus, and Israel shall be dwell safely. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you are the Jehovah Jara, the Lord our provider. In Philippians uh, chapter 4 and 19, but my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are the Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. And you said in your word in Exodus chapter 15 and verse 20 says, 26 and says, If they will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord their God and will do which is right in his sight and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, and I will put none of these diseases upon there which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healing them. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 17, For I will restore help unto them, and I will heal them of the wounds, says the Lord, because they call their outcasts, saying, This is the Zion whom no man seek after. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you are the Jehovah Rapha. And we thank you, Lord God, that we are your people, Lord God, and in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that your people are walking divine health, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, because we are healed by your stripes, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are the Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, our peace. In the book of Judges 6, 23 and 24, and the Lord says unto him, Peace be unto them. Fear not, who shall not die. Then, hallelujah. And so in Philippians 4 and 7, And the peace of God, which is possess all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ. Jesus. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that no matter what the circumstances are, or what the situation is, or what maybe we're going through, Father, you are bigger and you are greater in any situation or any circumstances because the God who we serve, he is greater, he is bigger in every 
circumstances in our life. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we are, as your people, we cannot be defeated, we cannot be deceived, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Father, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And Father, you are the Jehovah Nisi. Do I pronounce this right? Nisi? Nisi? Yeah. Minister? Okay. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner, our campaign, our victor, hallelujah. In Exodus chapter 17 and verse 15, and then Moses built an altar and called the name of Jehovah Nisi, hallelujah. In the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, but thanks be to God which given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are the Jehovah Rapha Rohi, the Lord our shepherd. In Psalms 23 and verse 1, the Lord is our shepherd, and that we shall not want. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are our God, and we are your people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the time that we stay right now, and I appreciate that Pastor Larry that share with us the word, the word of encouragement, the uh, what the scripture says, whatever the, even the situation right now in the world, but we know that we are under the protection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, just think about it. Just, just think about for a moment. Where you was before, in some circumstances that you was before, that was looking so impossible. But think about it. But the Lord brought you through. He brought you through. See, God, what he did before, he can do again. Some situations and some things that you may be faced before in your life, they would look so impossible. I just want to encourage those who is watching this broadcast, and maybe some of you here tonight, don't ever forget where God brought you from. When I think of the goodness of the Lord and where he brought me from, I said, God, you almighty God. Pastor Larry was ministering and I was sitting on the back of the this church right now and I was thinking of the goodness of the Lord. And Pastor will share with us how sometimes he driving or walking or see some homeless people and God sometimes guiding him and giving to help. This is what God wants us to do. He wants us not just to gain and gain, but he wants us to be a blessing to others. And when he speaks something to us, to give. You remember Pastor was sharing not so long ago how some brother called and shared with him something and and he don't hesitate, just give. See, God doesn't want you just to uh, be a bless, but he wants you to be a distribution center and to be a blessing to others. And when Pastor was sharing regarding how he was sometimes led to give, maybe homeless or someone who God led in him to give. See, some of these homeless, some of these drug addicts, some of these lost ones, this is the ones that Jesus, he gave to his life for them, for you and I. That they will not have to die and they sin. Years ago, before I was even a 
born again, I came to United States just running for my life from Russia. And I was in Baltimore and Maryland, lonely, didn't know nobody. But I came to this country to start a new life. And I was this homeless and lonely and sit in a park of Baltimore City. Look at the sky and look at the God who I did not know. And God heard my prayer and he sent me someone who gave me the hand to help me to step up. You can be a this, a person who can stretch the hand as the extension of Jesus to bring someone up. Be this hand to someone. Be this hand to someone. Let your life be a testimony. Never be ashamed what Jesus Christ did for you. Never be the ashamed to be a testimony for the kingdom of God. Never be the ashamed where Jesus brought you from. And never forget where he brought you from. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to be praying right now for you, for those who is watching this broadcast, praying for each of us that God will use us as the instruments, as the vessels on behalf of the others. That we are the instruments, that we are the vessels, hallelujah, on behalf of others. Let our homes be open for those who need. I remember this minister that I met, his daughter sitting right now over here. She minister, anointing, appointing, hallelujah. So her father, he was open a door for people lost like I was lost. And all kind of people was just they have a church and a home. The first church I ever introduced to be is the church and a home. No church and some building. Church and a home. This is the first church I was being introduced. Reaching a people who was lost. Never was judged. People came to all kind of shapes and all kind of forms in their house. Always praying. Always feeding. Uh, people and God is always provided for them. Hallelujah! That um, Pastor Stephen was a um, apostle, um, man of God. God used this family in the name of Jesus. So, and God wants to use you. Amen. He wants to use you to be this vessel. Hallelujah! In the name of Jesus. Many of the people. As myself, as the immigrants, we came to this land. Hallelujah. Came to the land. Many of you are also here as the representative of the kingdom of God. And now we are the light of this world. Hallelujah. So let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I lift unto you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, your people who is here right now, and those who is the watching this broadcast, I ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, burn right now, in the name of Jesus, fall, and every person who is here and those who is watching this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you stir up the gifts in the name of Jesus, that you stir up the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord God, that your people, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that be used by you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that you are raise up your people, Lord God. There will be a voice in this land in the name of Jesus, and there will be prophesied. There will speak the words of truth, Lord God, in authority and power. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the miracles, signs, and wonders 
for manifest in the name of Jesus in this land, even in this last days, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we break every fear. We break anything what is not of God. We break every form of sicknesses, diseases, every selfish spirit. We break it off in Jesus' name. Every spirit, what is every us. Uh, Danger spirit, we break it off in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we are your people, that we are seeking the first, the kingdom of God, and your righteousness in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord God. We praise your name, Lord God. Oh, Romana, yes, do Romana, yes, Oh, Romana, yes, Oh, yes, and Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we are uh, come to you, Lord God, boldly, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and say without a doubt or fear in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Oh, Romana, yes, to Yosha, de Remana, yes, to Yosha, de Remana, Yosu. And Father, you said in your uh, word in Revelation uh, chapter 3, uh, verse 8, I know your records and works, what you are doing. And see, I have set before you a door wide open, which no one is able to shut. And I know that you have but little power, but yet you have kept my word and guided my message. And I have not renounced, or you have not renounced or denied my name. And the Lord is saying to us today, as you went through the challenges and obstacles and oppositions and to some test in your life, but you did not deny his name. And the Lord says that he will reward you. He will put you in a position that you be a hate another tale. Because God has a destiny and he has the purpose for you. And your destiny and your purpose will be accomplished in a life. Oh, in the name of Jesus. That he will equip you, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that for for those purpose uh the for those persons uh who this word is applied uh, in the name of Jesus that this is a season and this is a time that this person right now is stepping in in a destiny in a purpose that God already set in motion in the name of Jesus and the Lord is also said that oppositions in that warfare what the devil was trying to bring in your life he uh he did to stop you to uh, bring that barrier but uh, what what happened and this is what happened in revelation uh, uh, for, uh, verse uh, chapter 3 and verse 8 and the lord is saying to you today i know your record of works and what you are doing see i have said before you door wide open which no one is able to shut and the Lord said, no man, no devil in hell will shut this door or, uh, or stop that progress or destiny that he already set in motion for you. That challenges, this opposition that the devil brought in your life to stop it. But you said, no devil, I'm going to go and I'm going to serve the Lord God who is appoint me, who is anoint me for such a time as this. And the Lord says, receive that in Jesus' name and get ready to do the work what he called you to do in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you, Lord God, for every man, woman, and those who is watching this broadcast. In the name of Jesus that let the supernatural strength from heaven hallelujah the strength from heaven and the willingness of the heart in the name of jesus come forth and every man and woman who been called by you in the name of jesus and father we give you all the praise and all the glory in jesus name hallelujah praise god praise god 
it's important for each of us to pray also it's very important to pray in the spirit the prayer in the spirit is of so important because that heavenly language in the name of Jesus you start to pray and you start to intercede and you start to energize from heaven years ago when pastor Larry and I we was uh, under a lot of attack I was a lot of and a lot of attack on my body was laying down in the hospital in a it was a long story but uh, in a pretty bad shape and um, I was in a shape that I was so weak. My body was so weak. And I was not able to even pray. Pastor was praying for me. And uh, uh, those who we trust around us, and they was praying for us. But I remember that I was starting to pray slowly in the spirit. Because I'm not able to speak. I was in shape, I cannot even speak English. You know, sometimes when you're in a bad shape, you go to your first language. I'm just like in shape, I'm just like Russian, you know. And, um, but I start to pray in the spirit, just very slowly. Like, you know, so very slowly. And more I was praying, start to be more strength in me. More I pray, more I start to have a strength. It's like something, I don't, I don't know, the only thing I can associate, like, you know, when you're charging the phone, cell phone, you can have a good equipment, you have a good phone, but it could be, no matter how expensive and good this phone is, if it's not church and electricity, it's good for nothing. Well, it's like, kind of like we are, you know, as the people of God, we have this vessel. This is the Holy vessel. And if it's not church from the heavenlies, it's kind of like you don't have a power. And we're talking about the power, the same power which raised Jesus Christ from the dead is operating us and through us. Hallelujah. Because scripture says, be filled with the spirit that you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. So when we're filled with the spirit, that we have the power to resist the oppositions of the flesh. So when I was in this hospital bed and I was recovering, I was start to pray in the spirit. You know when you medicate you and all this drugs they put in you and you, your body gonna get weak, you know? And, um, but then I start to pray in the spirit. And that more I was praying and more I felt that the life of God come back to me. And that, you know, start to raising me up raising me up and the Lord restore my health and not just to restore my health he bless us and he restore different areas in our life and God is just good and I'm just telling you and encouraging you today to get filled with the Holy Ghost be filled with the Holy Ghost you know like a, a a Stephen, you know, in the a, in a, in a Bible, they, they, uh, or Apostle Paul, they praying in the Spirit. This is how they was operating such an anointing and such a power, and you've been led by the Spirit of God. Yes, you are a human being. Yes, Jesus lives in you. And plus, you've been led by the Holy Spirit. See, you will be led, and you will have nothing to be afraid about. You are because the Jesus will lead you. For the work of the Holy Spirit and the favor of God. Hallelujah. You will you will walk in some room and you will have a favor. 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 Because the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit is flowing. You're so filled with the Spirit. When you can speak, you will speak with the boldness. Hallelujah. Because that boldness, the Holy Ghost boldness, it's, it's, it's going through you in Jesus' name. So I'm just encourage you to get refilled with the Holy Ghost. That's your, uh, that's the power. That's the power that the devil doesn't like. See, he doesn't like people praying. If uh, 
church have a concert? You know how many people, if you have a 5,000 seats, you will have no, no other enough because they have a good, you know, um, artist, gospel artist. Church will be full, 5,000 seats. The same church will call night of prayer, 10% will show up. You know why? You know why? Because the enemy doesn't want people to pray. Because it's the power, and especially as a church, is the power and unity. We can shake the city. If the every minister in this city start to pray, every minister, shoulder to shoulder, not to see the difference and you know your Baptist, you you know, shoulder to shoulder. Every man of God, every woman of God, as the anointing of priest of God. To proclaim the said the Lord and unity. And this is what the enemy doesn't like. He tried to bring the divisions. Try to bring the gossip and divisions between the body of Christ. So we have to recognize that. So we have to pray for the unity in the body of Christ. Amen? <clears throat> Amen. So who wants to pray for the Russian, Ukrainian churches? So Maria, she is the prayer warrior, and she's going to pray right now for the Russian, Ukrainian, Slavic churches and our community, that God will bring unity, unity, unity in the church, unity in the church, hallelujah, amen? Thank you, God. Uh, we are praying for Russian uh, community. Yes, Господь, thank you, God, Господь, что Ты благословляешь, Господь, yes. Ты благословишь тот народ, Господь, который приехал в этот год, в Сакраменто, Господь, Господь, чтобы Ты соединил, Господь, чтобы Ты послал, Господь, единство друг между другом, Господь, чтобы соединились, Господь, в Духе Святом и начали искать Твое лицо во имя Иисуса Христа. Мы призываем, Господь, эту силу единства, этого, Господь, Твоя благодать, Твое благословение, Господь, на служителей, на пастырей, на церкви, Господь, которые будут молиться, Господь, которые будут призывать Тебя, Господь, чтобы Ты ответил, Господь, чтобы Ты соединил, чтобы Ты, Господь, исцелил, Господь, эту землю, этот народ, Господь, особенно, Господь, мы просим Тебя. Да будет так, Отец, во имя Иисуса Христа, и мы провозглашаем, Господь, Твою победу, Твою благодать, Твое благословение. Да почивает, Господь, мир в сердца, Господь, чтобы они взыскали Тебя, Господь, во имя Иисуса. Да придет это, Господь, Лори, Фадер, Господь, мы благословим Тебя, что Ты соединишь, что Ты даешь, Господь, Боже, что Ты тревожишь, что Ты даешь, Господь, людям, Господь, ревность и жажду, Господь, во имя Иисуса Христа мы провозглашаем. Ревность и жажду на каждое сердце, Господь, которое, Господь, детей, которые уже посетили свою жизнь Тебе, Господь, используй их для славы Твоей, для Твоего помазания, для Твоего, Господь, служения, Господь, чтобы мы, Господь, были в этом городе полезны, приносили пользу, Господь, для народа, для спасения, Господь, для, Господь, проповеди Евангелии, чтобы Слово Твое, оно распространилось, Господь, на, Господь, во все, Господь, Господь, в страны, Господь, во все места, Господь, чтобы благословил Украину, чтобы Ты благословил Россию, Господь, чтобы Ты благословил иммигрантов, которые живут здесь, Господь, которые переехали уже, и это город, Господь, ты сказал, Слово Твое говорит, что молитесь за город, в котором мы живете, вы живете. Господь, мы молимся за город Сакраменто, Господь, Каунти, Господь, чтобы Ты благословил, покрыл, Господь, Твоим покровом, Господь, силой Божией. Да будем мы, Господь, едины, Господь, в Духе, провозглашаем Твою победу и славим Твое имя, Господь, что ни одно оружие сделано против Твоего народа, оно не будет успешно. И Ты и пробуждениями провозглашаем Твою силу и славу, Отец. Да будет прославлено Твое имя, наш Бог, Отец, Сын и Дух Святой. Имен. Аллилуйя.
Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you said that we should pray for the city. And, Father, we pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for the unity in the city, between the churches, between the pastors, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Well, Father, we proclaim and declare the unity. We break every spirit of division in the name of Jesus. We break every, break every spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. We, Father, we call it in the unity between pastors and ministers and churches and Sacramento and surround the area and also in California. We proclaim and declare the unity in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus because you said that there's a power of unity. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, as your people, Lord God, that we are walking on this power because we are walking on your unity. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus that no weapon against the church of the body of Christ in this city, in this town, in this region should prosper in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that whatever Satan did for evil in between the churches, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you turn around for your glory in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for everything you're going to do in this city, in Sacramento. We claim the Sacramento in California for Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, souls coming in. Souls coming into the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I take that. Amen. Hallelujah. Folks, now, anybody that want to pray before we, before, you want, anybody want to come up and pray? Because we're going to shut this off in a minute. We're going to all going to start praying. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that first. Yeah. He reminded me to take up an offering. Glory to God. Let's take up an offering right now. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever the Lord placed on your heart to give, that's what, that's what you give. And also remember, I'm getting ready to go to Africa in April, so amen. So, huh? That's for me. For my ministry or for missions. I like that. Put it in off. Amen. Amen. He, he, he's sowing a hundred dollars for missions. Amen. I like that. He <laughs> said, <laughs> Don't tell nobody. I want everybody else to do it. <laughs> no, that's all right. Amen. But we are, we but we are we are are as the Lord as the Lord will, that's you know. We just act y'all do what you can. That's what we will. Oh, that's what done in secret. Amen. Well, you told me. <laughs> amen. Amen. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. That missions, missions is on the heart of God right now. And God, this, I just come from Indonesia for 30 days in Indonesia. Now I'm going to Africa in April. And uh, I just... Want, want the people to give me a helping hand financially. Yeah, I know. Yeah. God God is in it. I know God is in it because God is sending me. Amen. Let's pray over this offering. Father, we thank you for this offering that we are receiving for tonight, Father. And we pray, Father, that those that are given by the internet, Father, that they will uh, designate this offering to missions in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for it. And we praise you. We glorify you for it in yeah. Jesus' name. Now, Father, I ask you to multiply it back into their lives. As you said in your word, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give it to their bosom. And I thank you, Father, because they are givers and tithers, Lord, that the devourer is rebuked for their sake. And now, God, you have your way. And I thank you for it. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Amen. Now, amen. Glory to God. Go ahead and receive it. There you go. Amen. Now, if anybody else... Uh, we want to pray before we you, everybody else all right amen so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go ahead on and we're gonna we're gonna give them a opportunity to get saved and then we're gonna let them go and then we're gonna continue on in prayer until 12 o'clock if you never made jesus christ the lord of your life you listen to me right now with the internet you never made jesus christ the lord of your life right now you know that god is 
moving across the land, and there's a spirit of death that's moving across the land. Now, you have an opportunity right now to make things right with God. Amen. And I'm going to give you that opportunity. I couldn't dare come up here tonight and not give you that opportunity. Amen. Because right now, God is looking at the heart of man. Wickedness is on our land, and pestilence has come because of it. Amen. So now God is saying, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then I will hear from heaven, and I'll forgive their sin and will heal the land. Right now, God is giving you an opportunity to acknowledge, God, I need you in my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Amen. Let's do that together tonight. If you are listening with me on the internet and you know that you need to make things right with God, just join me in this prayer right now. Amen. Don't do it because I'm asking you to do it. Do it from your heart because you know that it's time for you to do it. Amen. And say this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit. And renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died for my sin. Today, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead. And now I'm saved. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. You said that simple prayer. Right now, I believe the angels in heaven are rejoicing because of you. Amen. And I'm going to thank you all for joining us tonight on, on the internet. Amen. We're going to go now off the internet. We're going to continue on praying until 12 midnight. But you guys, thank you all for joining us for this time of, of the word. Amen. God bless you until then. Bye-bye. See you next time.